Talks honest, 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 honest. Talks honest, 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 honest. Talks honest, 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 honest. Talks honest, honest, honest. Talks honest, honest, honest. Hello and welcome to Talks Honest. You are tuned into I Live Radio UK, changing the way you listen to radio. I'm your host, Miss Law, and this is a platform and an opportunity for you to discuss topics never spoken but often thought of. You can connect with us by contacting 0208 638 8503 or www.uk.iliveradio.com. subject is games and joining me on today's show is Miss Mode and Miss B. Welcome ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So growing up we played games as a child and even today as adults we still play games. You know everyone does enjoy having a bit of fun playing games. As a child obviously we played a number of games and I just want to take us back to when we were younger and the games that we used to play. Now, I know all of us played similar games and the concept of games when we were younger and the concept of games today is very, very different. So I'm going to take us back to those days when we were young children doing what we do best and just enjoying life for what it was. So when I take you back, just think about those times when you were doing things that was, you know, it was just great fun. And one of the things that we used to play when we was younger was knock down ginger. That was like, yeah. knock down ginger. Do you know how much trouble you yeah. would have got into <laughs> if they yeah, knew what you were doing? It was a bit of the naughty one. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was one of the naughty ones, yeah, definitely. <laughs> And you know, as yeah. black children, that if your parents knew that you was knocking on people's doors and running, oh my goodness. Right, there would have been problems when you get home. You right. know. Yeah. For me, when it came to doing a damn ginger, I never done it on my estate. I always done it on a neighbour in the estate because I know that I won't get get caught. <laughs> You're too so, much. Uh, You're sneaky. I know, so, so, where I was living, I done it more like in another borough. Like, I'm originally from Hackney. Borough, um, you know, so another the borough. The borough of Islington. So I used to go to the Islington borough and do it. <laughs> no, you're serious, Miss Mode. Oh, yeah, because I, listen, I was very smart. So I'm like, because I've seen kids do it today. And I'm like, why are you doing it in your own estate? Like, you live two doors down. Oh, and but, the fun, <laughs> but the fun about that is, okay, so you used to go out of the borough. I, I was staying in my estate doing lockdown, Ginger. Me too. Like, you just knew which doors to knock. <laughs> no, my, no it's too, I think for where I was, it was like a closed community. So it's like, someone's going to recognise you. Do you know what? The, the so thing about it... Like, I'm not trying to get that heat <laughs> from my mum. I'm like, all right, I'll go to the state near my school. So but, my school was in Islington. So I was like, all right, I can go there. Ladies. I'm, like, cool. I'm knocking on every door. So ladies, <laughs> who were you targeting when you was playing Knockdown Junior? Be honest. Everybody. No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, well. Who were you targeting? I was just targeting people I knew couldn't get to the door quick enough. Oh, no, I didn't know who, who was at the door. No, just, but obviously, if you live... Right. Yeah, but you, for you, it was slightly different because you were knocking down Ginger in a different borough. You was, like, calculating. My mum was like, I'm out of this area. I'm going in. Isn't right. <laughs> oh, no, like, you know, like, growing up, you used to give certain neighbours nicknames. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Miserable yeah. ones, the miserable ones. Yeah, yeah. Like the Catwoman. 
it was like a woman that had a, that had loads of cats and all those. Yeah. yeah. So we target that lady because she's the cat woman, or you know, the guys that used to not tidy up their garden. You know, places that looked a bit messy. Yeah. You thought, well, no, I don't really live there, but people was in the house. Yeah. So to target those kind of <laughs> those I mean, Lockdown Ginger was such a terrible game, though. I mean, it was a great game for us, but it was it so was, naughty. It was fun. Yeah, for children, it's like, it was like, how can I say it? It was, it, it was a fun game for us, but we were kind of in fear as well because it was like, if they got to the door quick, what if they grabbed us or yeah. whatever? So it's like you have to be strategic with yeah, that game to know when to run. You could, you know when you go with a bunch of friends and you might have that one friend who's always the, the slow coach. <laughs> and you always right? say to them, run first. You run out already and you're like, oh no. We left George behind. <laughs> like, no, you're meant to run. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but when it well, when it comes to knock down ginger, they're up the front and then the last ones to leave, and you're like, come on! <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, um, did you guys used to play fifty fifty homie? Oh no, what's that? No, what's that? What? So, it might um, be another name. Yeah. Or, or run outs. So run outs. Yes. Run outs where you had to be in teams. It's like catch the flag, um, but. Your team has to get to the home base, which in my estate was just like a brick wall that wasn't connected to nothing. It was just a standalone wall. Mm. Um, and um, we used to go into teams, and so you had to catch the opposite team. And, you know, the winner was determined by the amount of people that you could get back without being caught. Um, that was another but, good game. So basically, do you split up and go... Are you hiding or what are you doing? Yeah, so basically you give them a certain amount of time to go run and hide. Just uh, like in a bigger state. You're in, yeah. say, um, six to each team. Yeah. They've got to get all their six members home. Uh, um, uh, and then we've got to try and find them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, no, yeah, that was one. But yeah, I, I would have definitely done that. Oh, okay. What yeah, about hopscotch? Did, did anyone do hopscotch? Yeah. Yeah, hopscotch, um, hopscotch, king ball, Scooby Doo. Oh, king ball, yeah, Scooby Doo. Tell me a little bit about Sco- Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo's the elastic bands. You have two people either side. Oh yes, oh, oh, French skip, French skipping, French skipping. We, we call it French skipping as well. Oh, I just called it Scooby Doo because you used to make the. That's what we used to call the elastic band. Yeah, the long, and you put it at the ankle. Yeah, and then you raise yeah. it, and you get, make it goes higher and higher, and they, and they have to do the same. Um, action so either Routine, jump side, yeah. cross it over and then jump and try and land on top of the um the elastic bands, yeah. What kind band. of like cat's cradle but yes. for your leg? Okay. Do you remember the one with the elastic? We used to use our mum's elastic and put our fingers yeah. through it and make different patterns and bring it to, oh, yeah, I used to use one. That's cat's cradle. Oh that's cat's cradle, okay. Yeah, yeah but they had but the one that um Miss B's talking about is similar. Right. But it's with your legs. Right. Yeah, I do remember doing that one. We should do it. We should try it. No, that was actually that was actually good, you know. Yeah, it's good, man. It's good. So Miss yeah. Law, you've got an elastic band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can source that. We just go to a haberdashery, we can pick some of that up. Easy. Yeah. Exactly. So we can try that, you know, one summer day. We'll have a competition. Yeah, that was good, you know. And get and when you have to get a routine. Yes, yeah, that's right, yes, yes. It's like, it's like double dutch, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Are you double dutch? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know if the kids nowadays know any of these games. Like, What other games can you think of, though, like that we played? Sticky Toffee. What's, what's Sticky Toffee? What's Sticky Toffee? You put your hand out and each person has to hold a finger and you have to say, like, I went to the shop... And I bought some sticky, sticky. You do a hesitation and you say something like apples. When they hear sticky toffee, they've got to run. And you've got, you've to, catch- got, to, you've got to catch. You've got to catch them. Now, back in the day at school, it used to be played. If you played it indoors, you had to stay with your legs open, and the people would crawl underneath your legs. Yes. Now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That one. Now. Yes. 
we do it with the arms up and the person has to go around right your arms. Around the arms. Yes. 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 Um, so more recently, um, working in the school, I actually taught the children how to play that. But um, obviously, including COVID, hands keep safe, so they're not touching. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And um, I've kind of changed it slightly that when the child gets close enough to the child, where if they was to put out their hand, if they could touch them, they could have told that person, called by their name, so they might say, um, Miss Mo would freeze, and Miss Mo would have to freeze. Um, yeah. a, a good way to teach them to recognise or make friends with new people. Yeah. So right. to get the name of the people yeah. I do have kind of changed it a bit um, in my work setting. Yeah. yeah. How about hide and seek? We used to do hide and seek quite a lot. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That well, that was yeah, that, that was, was that was good. That was especially if you were doing it outside as opposed to indoors. Yeah. Indoors, yeah. About when everyone used to follow you to the best hiding spot. You're like, I know, this, this is my spot. Is my spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the same person oh, doing oh, it, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. It was <laughs> The clapping. Oh, yeah, Miss Mary Mac. Oh, Miss yeah. Mary yeah. Mac. Estella went to see, 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 to yeah. see. Yeah. They yeah. used to love those. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What it's about, my what about uh, jacks? Not yeah, not jacks, but also with the balls. You used to throw the balls up and pass it to the other person. Oh yeah, oh, like yeah, yeah. If you, you, if you didn't have anyone, you used to do it on the wall. Yes, you used to do it on the wall. Yeah. yeah, over and all that. Yeah, spin around, touch the ground. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's mad. that's crazy. Also, we used to play um, like competitive games as well, didn't we? Um, yeah. We used to have the rounders. Yeah, rounders. Rounders was football. yeah football. Was, yeah, I was a great. Um, well, I say great. I used to love playing football. Um, yeah, yes, I'm here. I was like, yeah, I'm attack, mate. I'm defense. I'm everything. I'm midfield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Striker and all. And net, how about netball? Did anyone in, get involved in netball? Yeah, um, I didn't really like netball. I was into basketball. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. I was I, when yeah. I played netball. I played um, competitively, so yeah, I really enjoyed mm-hmm. netball. Um, yeah. Both at school as well as um, outside so of school. So, what was your position? Centre or wing defence. Um, you was the one that jumped high, were Well, the thing so is, with the centre, you could be everywhere, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, because you had your goal shooter. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and wing defence, yeah. 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 But I used to go, I never used to play as much. However, I used to go and watch my aunt play because she used to play professionally. Okay. So, I used to go on a Saturday. Yeah, uh, to I think it's somewhere up in Highgate or Finchley somewhere, um, mm-hmm. and they used to come together to do tournaments. So mm-hmm. I used to, um, you know, go and watch her Com- compete, compete with the other yeah. other different yeah. boroughs. With different boroughs, yeah, so it's the same thing that I did. Yeah, wow. some of you said that um, you said you liked basketball. Was it? Yeah, I was. I was really good at basketball. I, I think I was like really into so-called boys sports you know what I mean okay I was really into football um but then also um athletics like yes. what was your what was your 100 meter your for when it was athletic 100 meter relay all day yeah. long ah uh, what about you uh, mine was high jump um 100 meters 200 meters and then the relay yeah I love the oh, relay yeah. what about yourself yeah, I think for me it was um, doing the shot put oh the yes the 1500 meters okay my sister did that um, long distance I'm not a long I did, distance. I did, I did um, relay as well okay yeah relay was very popular for us as, yeah. as growing up, I mean, it's something like we were the fastest, weren't we? What about having to pass that back? Yeah, and making it drop. Was yeah, that, drop, I know. <laughs> that was that moment, wasn't it? Like you were stood there and you start to do a little jog and you're waiting for that baton. And you know what? If they don't place that baton in your hand and that drops, it's like right. you feel the whole world's come to an end. 
Because yeah. especially that's it. You got to, you either got to pick it up, and it depends on your other opponents if they're faster. Yes. Like, how do you catch up? You know. And, I mean? and I know the worst one about that is when you're the one going to the finishing line and you drop yeah. the baton. Oh my god, that's like yeah. the world coming to an end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm quite competitive, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hand up for that one also. Oh yeah, I was. I wasn't trying to be like. Oh, no, no, I always wanted it. to no, win. I yeah. wanted to win. Yeah. I wanted gold medal. I wanted my certificate with so, my name on it saying I did that. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. So when it came to obviously games, we've done you know the games that we did as a child, physically did, and we've done sports games. What about computer games? What kind of computer games were you oh, guys into? My. Oh, well, if we're talking about back in time now. Yes. Yeah, go on, Miss Mo. Back in during school days, I was always in the arcade. Me too. Yeah. Always in the arcade. Yeah. There was an um, arcade in Hackney called Razzle Dazzle. We about fell every Friday because obviously it's the weekend. Everybody from whichever school you was from, whether it was Kingsland or... Cardinal Pole, Hackney Free. Yeah. Everybody just went there on a Friday and it was ram packed. Wow. Everybody, all the kids just playing, playing the arcade games from yeah. your Shinobi to Golden Axe, Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter was mine. There was Space Invaders <gasps> game and all that, yeah. Pac Man. Yeah, yeah. Pac Man, yes. That brings back yeah. great memories. Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, you really dig digging in the archives. Yeah. Yeah, what about Rage as well, yeah. Yeah, what about the Atari? I'm going way back. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. like, and Nintendo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. Before they started doing the Switch and all this, you know. Yeah, like, that's the modern times. And, all that, yeah. and your Commodore 64. Yes. Yeah. Wow! I mean, now, now we're now now we're going back. It's really like coming to the forefront. It's like yeah. But when you think about the times when we were younger, and I don't, I'm not talking about the games that we play now. We will go there eventually. Yeah. When you assess how you were growing up and all the games that you played and so on and so forth, do you feel that? If you do a comparison of then and now, do you think that we were more childish in our behaviours and enjoyed more fun than children of today? Or would you say it's more or less the same? I know it could be because of the times things have changed, but when you look at, okay, for example, we've got nieces and nephews and godchildren. Did they have the fun and enjoyment that we had back then, now, would you say? I I think that, I think now they need more motivation. Whereas when we were younger, we didn't need to be motivated. There wasn't any, there was sometimes there wasn't an alternative like a computer game or like a PlayStation or Xbox. You know, we had to try and entertain ourselves. So I think when we were younger, we were more creative and more imaginative in our games. Yes, um, we were. that we played, and I looked, I looked forward to playing out with my friends. Yeah, that interaction, that yeah, that interaction that was nice. With your friends, like, oh, mom, is it alright if I go to play out? Yeah, you could go. That was it. Like, yeah, I, I think because we had more freedom, and there was there was a bit more trust with our parents, even though our parents may have been strict, but. They, they understood like we, we couldn't just be cooped up indoors 24-7 yeah. and I think we had more access to places that we can go because it wasn't necessarily just being on the road because we had play schemes we had um, community centers that available we had adventure playgrounds yeah. in our areas that we could have gone to but I feel for now now with this younger generation it's more just all computer based it's not they're not really actually it's like they need to have their their phone with them yeah because we've come from a generation where we didn't have phones so we're used to it but I feel that we had a bit more freedom 
And as Miss B was saying, we were more creative with our games because we could have made up games. So what, in your assessment of then and now, would you say that we were more children than the children of today? Or would you say that because of the lack of maybe access to certain things that weren't around back then, when you look at a child today, being, you know, the age group that we were when we, when we were playing those games, do you feel that maybe we were very happy children doing childish things as opposed to the children of today who are consumed by modern technology, phones, computers and so on and so forth. Do you feel that maybe sometimes it, it would be nice to see those children of today experience what we did as children? Yes, most definitely. I do feel that we were more childlike if you want to say in that sense, more childlike. But that, I think, is also to do with the input of our parents um, and the people around us. Yeah. Whereas for the children nowadays, their parents might always be working, yeah. be too tired to have that quality time when they come home or at the weekends. You know, like some parents are working seven days a week. Yeah. Um, so I do feel that they're, they're not childlike like us, They've just evolved into something different. Yeah, different which times. Mean they're any less childlike than yes. us. Yes. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, the it's times. A form of it. Yeah. 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 When you think about games, as children, we all had superheroes, game superheroes. I'm interested to know what your who your superhero or heroes were growing up, because we all did these funny things when we were younger. We were playing games and I'm Superman or, or I'm Wonder Woman or, you know, we had a character that we used to take off as a child. Who was your character, Miss B? If if there was one. Well, you said mine was, super, mine was Wonder Woman because we used to watch the program, innit? <laughs> you see on the TV, she's got a... And, and, the, and the, um, the theme tune. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> you know, with the last thing, yeah, definitely. I'm oh, definitely a Wonder Woman. Um, what about yourself, Miss Mo? Because I can't think of any other person apart from Wonder Woman. Um, I think I'd have to agree. Um, I don't think I really had a superhero that I was like, you know, like, yeah, I want to be like that or copied. Um, so I think the closest may, may have been just Wonder Woman. Yeah, I agree. There wasn't really superheroes who were female. That's correct, yes. Because that's the only one I can think of. I mean, when I was growing up, I, I more saw the young bo- the little boys were pretending to, you know, jump off walls and pretend that they were this oh, hero. Yeah, they or they thought they were Spider-Man. Spider-Man or Superman yeah. or Batman yeah. and Robin. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about films that are based on computer, or based on based on games? Are there any films that you've watched and thought, "Oh my god, that is a gaming film"? That you thought, "Oh, this is awesome." That springs to mind. Only Street Fighter. Okay. Yeah, the only one I can think of, and it yeah. really for me, I didn't really enjoy it. The person who played Street Fighter a lot. Yeah. When I saw the film, I was like, well, what's this? Yeah. Were you like, disappointed, Miss Boat? I was, very much so. Yeah. To the point where it's it's like one of the worst games to film I've ever seen. Yeah. Who was your favourite character from the yeah. actual game? Oh. Um, oh who, who did you play when you played Street Fighter? So when I was when I was playing Street Fighter, I was um I was either Ryu or Ken. Oh okay. I wanted to be Chun Li. No, I was Chun Li. I was. But Chun-Li. I just couldn't. I couldn't get the spinning bird kick. Yeah, I couldn't get that. I couldn't get him. That's the move. Spinning bird kick. Yeah. <laughs> That's the move. I couldn't get, I couldn't do that, I couldn't do that move. Okay. I tried to beat Guile with the sonic boom, but couldn't yeah. work that, so I just, I just stayed with Ryu and Ken. I'm not going to lie, like, I, I did um, play those games, but they're not so fresh in my mind. 
Uh, but I did play. I yeah. mean, I was involved in all that. But like when I'm thinking about it, as I'm hearing you guys talking, I remember the characters. Yeah. But um, it's not so in my in my vision when I'm you're talking. Yeah, I get it. But for me, I'm not. Oh yeah, I can't pinpoint a time or a thing or a person that I was. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on, board games. Now, what was your favourite board game? If there was one. The family, family one was like frustration. Okay, yes. Oh, don't even get me started <laughs> Well named, right? Yeah, the the most appropriate name. For those who don't know what frustration is, it's this board game with that cylinder thing in the in the centre that you have to press, right? That's, yes. Yeah. You can fly up the side and you've got them... You, you're either red or green or whatever colour it was, right? And you have to get back home or something. Yes, you, you did, yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow, green, blue, so frustrating because red. Because you know when you're trying to press that thing and it's not moving? Yeah. I'm like, why is this not moving? Yeah, and it's funny with that... I'll be banging down, I'll be banging down on the... And you, know, you know when you picture it, it sounds like she was just smashing up the dice in the middle, like she just like, just banging it, yeah. Because you want a six, didn't you? Everyone's everyone was trying to get a six, and you was getting like a one or a two all the time. It's just like yeah, yeah, someone's gonna I'm eat me, six. yeah, because someone's gonna eat me. I can't get home. I need to get home. At least one person home. Yeah. What about when you try to touch it on a certain, touch it a certain on the side? Oh, if you push it on the side, yeah, on the side, it will spin and land on that number you want. <laughs> No, that doesn't work, guys. Don't try it. It doesn't work. <laughs> and it was really funny with that game because it's like, once you had one man out, it's just like, okay, I've got a man out. And then once yeah. the man is nearly home, it's like, okay, and then he's get another one out. And you're watching everyone's ward and all you can see is people bringing their men out and you've still got your men at home. <laughs> and, you're, and there's one man out and he ain't even got home yet. And you're frustrated because you don't want no one to eat him. Oh, my yeah. God. Definitely suits its name. The game definitely suits its name. Its name, most definitely. But, um, what about Monopoly, guys? Oh, yeah, that, that would never die. That's a game that's just... Yeah. Doesn't that age. Game, I would say for me is was a problem, especially at Christmas, because it's like you know when you've got all your money and your properties, and then next thing you know, one of your family members just taking everything from you, yeah. and then you end up going to jail. Isn't yeah, it? and not <laughs> collecting two hundred. Yeah, you're bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, you got no property. Yeah, nothing. yeah, you go to jail and you keep going to jail, and it's like <laughs> all my assets have gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get family members like, you know what, sell me, sell me yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're like, really struggling, like, oh, I need it. But then if I don't give it, then I'm going to be still in jail. <laughs> and you can't even pay, maintain the properties you got. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, what about drafts? Did anyone play drafts? Oh, yes. Yeah, I did. Love the love drafts. Drafts. Love yes. Ludo. Similar. Ludo, Ludo, man. Yeah. Yeah, I did like Ludo. Yeah. You see, when you play drafts, did you play the rule when you got to the other side, your counter count is as two, or you could get take one back and it became a double counter, so it became like a king or a queen? Yeah. 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 I think so. I'm, I'm trying to think. I used to yeah. play a lot of drafts growing up, but um, when it came to adult... No, I didn't really play a lot of drafts. Mm. What about um, dominoes? Come on. Oh, yeah. Everyone must yeah, have played dominoes. Favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's like a, a, a national, you know, Caribbean culture sport that mm. is just... It's just mandatory in your home. Yeah, if it you didn't know about dominoes, you weren't in. Con- you weren't if connected. If you're not going to a tournament, you're playing one at home, innit? You're yeah. playing one at home. And when you've got your family members and their friends come over, and you've got to have have it on this wooden table, and all your hair is just slamming. It's slamming, down, yeah. Down. And it was and really it was a serious game. Yeah, it was. We you know when you used to watch your parents and their friends like pair up and they cut the partner that you were with boys like they used to get cuss that's right yeah. like what are you doing you're not reading the board <laughs> <laughs> you just want to match in it you just want to match you just, just 
but the no, thing the thing is with but the thing is with that was like some people were able to read the game and some people were just matching and and that was it really you couldn't read some people read hand how are you reading hand I just about know what I've got in my hand let about read somebody else's <laughs> it's true it's true <gasps> do you, do you not play buckles oh no it's not a nice game anyway. You oh! With the cards. Oh, no, 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 no. On your knuckles. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't play that. I didn't like it. I've got another one for you. Like what about what? Conkers? Oh, yes. Oh, oh my word. Conkers. Yeah, in school. Shut yeah, up. in primary school. Yeah. Conkers was okay. the one. You put um, clear nail varnish on it so that when you went to your tournaments... And you lick someone else's one now. Their one snap. Yeah, yeah. But I did I didn't I didn't know about that, but now you told me. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. You was a cheat. That's what No 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 no. It's called it's called um what is it? Pimping my conquer. Pimping my conquer. I like that. Pimping my conqueror. I was saying to you. Not, not, not a board game, but I used to love Connect Four. Oh my God. Yeah. Awesome yeah, game. Connect Four, I will tell you now and I'll tell the listeners <laughs> no one can test me at Connect Four. All right. Is that, is that, um, are you, um, what's that? Is that a proposition? Yeah, it looks like she oh, wants to be oh, competed. Oh, you know what? If, you know, yeah, I've got my board, I've got Connect Four right here, you know. I've got it right there. I'll bring it, I'll bring it to the studio if, when you're ready. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you're ready. What are uh, battleships? Battleships, oh, yes. Man, yeah. battleships, yes. Yeah. I never really played it. I just saw it, other people play it. I never really got involved yeah. in that game. I just like Battleship. Um, now, you can play it with real life people. So basically, you can do it in teams. Okay. Draw the grid on the floor in chalk. Um, each team member picks a, you know, it could be 5C, 5 10. Yeah. Um, someone picks a position where they would want to be on the board. Yeah. Um, and then the opposite team will call out that grid cell number or whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then that, that ship, all the person sinks. So, um, oh, right. okay. kind of move forward now for the modern times. Yeah. And now actually play that game um, with people. And Miss Mode, have you seen that they've got actually a giant Connect Four? The one yes. That goes outside? Yes, I have. Yes. I have seen that. And the same with um, Jenga. Yes. yes, that's another game that I think is really, really good. It's more of a modern game. I'm, I'm not sure whether we they had the equivalent in a different format no, we when it was younger. We times, yeah. Oh, I don't remember Jenga. I only, I only became knowledgeable of Jenga recently, to be quite honest, in the oh, last okay. couple of years. Yeah. No, I think we've been out for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, what about um, Buckaroo? Oh, my gosh. Operation. Yes, Operation. Operation. That was the game. <laughs> when you, when you, if you, if you put the thing in it, uh, uh, it makes yeah, that on the, yeah, on the magnet. Oh, my That's God. Yes. yes. Oh, my word. And oh. guess who? Guess who? who? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Guess who was a, was a brilliant game. You had to concentrate because obviously you had to guess the other person's character in it. So yeah. does does this is this character a male or female? Yes or no. Yeah. Yes or no. And you flip down, you know, the ones that it's not. Yeah. How about games like uh, Trivial Pursuit? That was quite a. Oh, yes. That was really yeah. a really good game when you really wanted to be uh, clued up on a lot more things than what you knew, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those games most of the time played in when we went up with family. Family, so yeah, groups, family. yeah, yeah. Or uh, Pictionary, we had to draw. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. Like and charades yeah. was another charades, one. Charades, yes. next one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but do you like thinking about games and you know how we've gone deep into the games that we played as young people and we're quite grown now um do you feel that children today are playing games as much as we did or do you feel maybe not so much i i 
think I think there's a balance. I think it just depends on the in, individual and that family because I know for me at Christmas time, um, it was a big thing in my home to play games, mm. whether it was Monopoly or um, Connect Four or you know your Triple Pursuit. Mm. Um, but then now that we've got the the Playstations, the Nintendos and the Xbox, I feel that they use that now instead of having the actual board. Yes. So, so they have so they will still be a family together but yeah. they're just using the computer. Or just the console, the game console, should I say? Yeah. Because I like, like with the Wii, they had like Just Dance, which is a joint thing. Family, you yeah. yeah. Competing. Um, you've got. Um, they used to have, you know, like um, Miss Major was saying, like you did the shop. They used to have the, this game on Wii, which was Wii Sports. Yes. Oh, and yes. You, get, yeah, you could do things like the shop. Put, shop put, the yeah, javelin, in, yeah, long jump. Um, and long jump. Yeah. And things like yeah. that. In so, so technically speaking, so technically speaking, where we were physically doing those those games, it's now become a computer version of those yeah, but, games. But with the computer, it's still physical. Yes, yes. but yeah. yeah, but the times have changed so drastically. So, do you feel if we were to say? down with the computer, let's go and play a, a game of rounders or let's go and do the shot put or the javelin or a game, yeah. Do, how do you think that would be received by by most of these children who are into technology as opposed to the way that we played games? Um, I think it depends, like, at first they're going to be a bit, like, hesitant and be like, oh, don't really want to do that but once it gets started mm. I think once the game gets started like when I do stuff with my nieces and nephews at first maybe they don't want to do it or you know like if we're going to have a family picnic which I can't wait for yes. you know family mm. to go out yeah. um, and um, we just play games so everyone goes on whatever team we do yeah. rounders yeah. Yeah. and um Volleyball, forgot to mention that one. Volleyball, you can get like the little oh, net. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we used to play a lot of volleyball like, by the beach and sometimes when you went yeah. to the seaside yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so um, just games like that, I think they'd be more enthusiastic once the games get started. Yeah, I, I really yeah, do, I agree with you there because I find that when we have, like, you might have excursions or day outs or you have a meeting, a gathering at the park. Those games come out, bat and ball. We used to play bat and ball quite a lot when we was younger. And rounders, cricket. We didn't, yeah, we didn't yeah. mention cricket. Cricket yeah, was quite... What I was going to say was that not not um, 2020 summer, but 2019 summer, mm. um, I would see a lot of people playing cricket and rounders or just playing football. Yeah. 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 Or even tennis. You're making good use of the outside space. Yeah, yes. tennis is a tennis. Really popular, popular yeah. activity. Yeah. Um, what yeah. about swimming? Like, we haven't mentioned swimming. Like S- Swimming, love swimming. I, I enjoyed yeah. swimming. I know it's not a game, but it's... No, but it's, it's, like, it's something... It's, it's an entertainment... Well, it's a sport, isn't it? So... Yeah, it's a sport. I mean, it depends on if you, you find that competitive. If you're swimming with someone, you're doing lengths and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a sport, so to speak. A lot of these games that we we have played over the years have really changed in time uh, because everything's gone computerized. Sorry, we forgot about noughts and crosses. Yes. Oh. And I, I did, I did, I did, I did and I did mention. Um, yeah, we used to do hangman and jacks. Remember the jacks yes. with the ball? Yeah, and yeah. marbles, marbles, marble. Oh my gosh! Yes. Marbles. Do you remember when you used to be like, yeah, I'll see you in the playgrounds? And we used yeah. to go to the drains and you used to have to have the one, the That's right. Yeah. yeah. The drains with the diamonds on it. And you yeah. just hit it through there. And you yeah. put your prize, your prize marble down because, yeah. um, you know, you didn't want that to, to, you didn't want to lose that. Or do you remember they used to have those blue Chinese? And people yes. Like, the Chinese I used to, I used to collect marbles. Market. I used to collect marbles and trust me. Oh. 
buying them it's like I was investigating these marbles and how they look so when I was gonna show off a marble it's like yeah like, look, I've got I've got this one I've got this one oh marble I don't even know where they are somewhere safe no I had loads I mean I had loads <laughs> I had mine in, you know, so how I had my marbles was like, you know, the little sweetie bags, the yes. white little sweetie bags. I had mine in there, innit? So I used to have like the, 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 the tiny ones, the regular size ones, yes. like little large ones yeah. as well. Did you, did you actually used to play marbles, though? I know you collected yeah. them. Did you actually play, like, pitch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that was, a, that was... Oh, you used to do it on the drains? Yeah, we used to be in the, like, you can play on the drains. And so what you used to do is, okay, like, your friends would come together. You, it's like a competition. You're happy. You already know whose marbles you want to win because you've seen it when they've played before. You're like, okay, yeah, I can't wait because I want that yellow marble. You know that one that's got the cat's eye? Yes. Yeah. So the specific ones, you know, everyone's coming with their prize marbles. Yeah. Um, and skills and strategies to yeah. try and win the most marbles. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. There was another game as well. I don't know if you played it at school. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's when you had a, a 50 pence or a two pence and you had to chuck it. Money up the wall. Money the wall. up the wall. Yeah. It was up yeah. the wall or something like that. Up the something wall. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you, you used to throw it and then it used to. Um... It had to be the one that is the near. nearest. Didn't it have the to? Didn't, didn't it have to sit up against the wall to win? No, nah. just had to yeah. be the nearest. It just had to be right as near as right possible, possible, basically. Yeah, yeah. So there was a skill to when you had to throw it. You couldn't just like yeah. chuck it. It was like you had to kind of, I don't know. It's like you're, you're flip, you're flip it. Bowls or something, and you're just yeah. like, all right, let me just throw it at a certain level, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It was the it was the angle. It was how you angled it, and you used to yeah. it. And it was more like for me, I used to watch the boys play it more. Yeah. So that used to be their lunchtime, their lunchtime game. Yeah, let's play mm-hmm. uh, money up the wall. And you could go, you could go to school with one pound and leave school with ten pounds. It was that. It yeah. Was that game. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, ladies, like when you think about games, what was your favourite? team game that you played team game mine would have to be football okay. and yourself miss mode I think football or hockey okay we didn't we didn't not mention ice, hockey not ice hockey not ice hockey but roller hockey regular. or just regular hockey yeah. okay yeah yeah I was put off of that I got hit in the chin with a hockey stick ooh oh. yeah say no more <laughs> <laughs> For me, my favourite team game would be um, netball or rounders. Yeah, 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 they're the two that I would say. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And do you remember this? There was another game as well. Um, you had to get a piece of paper, and it's like you use your thumb and your index finger inside. Yes. What was that called? And you open it up, and there's right. You got to write whatever, and then you open it up again. Yes. And it says something else. Yeah. I don't know what it was called, but it's called a chat box. Is that what it's oh, called? It? Yeah. Oh, the chat box. Them. So okay. you have the colours like blue, purple, red, and then they say yeah. they will say say um, Miss Law picks blue. I go blue. B L U E. Yes. Then inside yeah. I have numbers one to ten. Yes. You pick a yeah. number, then I go one, two, three, four. No. We said, do I open it? And then there was a flap, wasn't there? I'm 10. Yeah. And then once I found the 10, then you pick another number. Then I open the flap. Flap. And inside, you used to have things like your favourite um, animal is, or depending on some people's had rude messages. Yeah. Like, yeah. like um, or like you're a princess or something. Yeah. Something, something yeah. like that. Yeah. How about cards? Did any of you play cards? 21. 21, blackjack. Yeah. 21, blackjack. Yeah. Same thing, rummy. Yeah, Rummy. What else was yeah. there? Um, solitaire. Solitaire. Oh, uh, Patience. Was there one solitaire. called Patience, yeah. right? Patience. Yeah. The same thing, though. Yeah, yeah, I think it is the same thing, yeah. We used to do... We used to play a lot of games um, growing up, I must say. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know, definitely, for me, I, was, I played a lot of games. 
What about the game that you play? Um, I don't know the exact name of it, but um, you do it on a piece of paper, and you have um, boys' name, girls' name, country, animal, um, something else, something else, and one person says the alphabet in their head. You've got to say stop, and you've got to think of the names of things beginning with that letter for each thing. So you've got to do a boy's name with a beginning with C, oh, no, a girl's never... name beginning with C, I've never and played that. beginning with C. Um, a colour beginning with C, a, uh, a piece of fruit, um, sorry, a piece of food beginning with the letter. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, that. You know, having, having had this discussion today, um, it really makes me feel going forward, we need to have games nights. Yeah. And when, and when I say games nights, it's something, Miss Mode. I know that you do do uh, and have done in the past. But it'll be <laughs> interesting to have a games night with people that we don't know on that kind of level. <laughs> and, w- yeah, and when I say fine, that, actually. based on the, uh, the platform that we are currently on, it will be <laughs> interesting to have a games night for hosts and presenters. And DJs. Yeah, yeah, good actually. That will be a really, idea. really interesting night. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the thing is, for me, with that, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be me in it. I'm not trying to be your friend. No, 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 that. neither am I. Uh, I'm not saying you're <laughs> friend. I'm going to take it seriously. No, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna that here. I don't like to lose, and I'm very competitive. I'm not going to, I'm going to put my hands up, both of my hands up, very, very high, and say, yeah, I don't like to lose. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm a sore loser, but I will go with with a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear that. And I, don't, I, don't I, think that you can just keep telling me that, oh, that you won, because I, 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 I really don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay? okay? You win, <laughs> and then you go... And you express yourself somewhere else. I don't want to hear you telling me. Then. I'll remember that. that. Oh yeah, but you beat me. <laughs> we boasted, we boasted that you won the game. No, nah. just not going to be happy. How about yourself? How do you like? Are you competitive? Are you a sore loser? Either of you, Miss Mo? I, 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 I've got to be honest. Yes, I am a sore loser. Like. If- and especially if it's a game that, that I'm really good at and I've lost, I'm like, nah, let's do it again. Come on, no. Okay. Let's start yeah. free. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely a sore loser. Okay. Um, I'm not a sore loser in that sense. I, I don't mind losing because my mindset is I'm going to learn this game and come back. I'm that competitive that... I don't mind if I lose. I'm oh. watching what you do because the next time when I come back in, that ain't happening. So revenge, you're, you're about revenge. <laughs> no, no, I'm not revengeful. Well, well, I'm well, competitive. Nah, mm. don't get, but hold on, hold, hold on a second. You said you, you're you going to play, you don't mind losing, but you're going to go away, get your A game up, and then you're going to come back with the intention to annihilate that person. It's strategy. It's strategizing. <laughs> come on now. It's strategizing. <laughs> I'm a strategist. I'm, I'm, I'm not with my A game. I want to know what's your manoeuvre. If we're playing a game like chess, yeah? Chess. And yeah. you do chess, yeah? Just yes. imagine we're playing chess and you do a brilliant game, right? Excellent. You do a certain move. I'm like, okay, I've clocked that. But the, okay. thing, is, the thing is with chess is chess is... It's a brain game. Yeah, of course. It's about yes, strategy. Really it's about yeah. knowing the next move from your competitor it's about That's reading right. the game it's like dominoes to be quite honest you yeah, have yeah. to read the game you have to un- and backgammon is quite similar yes yeah. you, if you're not able to read the game you could be a loser over and over again yeah, yeah. and I mean That's over and over terrible. again so ladies, let me ask you something was there a board game or a game itself that you just didn't like or it got on your nerves oh because mm. for me it was mousetrap oh I didn't I didn't touch it the ones that I yeah, didn't yeah. like I just didn't go near yeah the games that I just didn't get into yeah um, yeah mousetrap definitely would have been one that I didn't that was really... stupid for me I hated it <laughs> <laughs> I 
That was is, is that the one with um, the uh, a mouse and then he, he the mouse yeah. kept going for and the, the, the balls man jumping into some bucket oh. thing or something yes. and just hey, comes down. What about Kaplunk? Oh, I used to hate that one. I, yeah, I love, I love Kaplunk. Don't get me wrong, I love the game, but I'm always the one that pulled out the straw and all the marbles. All the marbles. That's the game that I'd be like, nah, I'm not playing. And the funny thing about Kaplunk is, you know, when you pull that straw and you look around to see if any, and you can see if things coming down, and then you try to do a dream screech like you didn't touch the straw, and then try to like, but then someone says, I saw you, I saw you do that, you, you got to take it out. <laughs> You know I'm just touching it. I'm just touching it. <laughs> if you touch it, you gotta take it out. <laughs> but that reminds me of Jenga, to be quite honest. You know, like when you touch a, a, a block in Jenga, yeah. you know, you, people always like to cheat in Jenga and like pretend oh, yeah. that they yeah. try to. Oh no, I was just saying. If you don't, if you touch it, you gotta remove it. Yeah, you know it. I'm that person. Me too. I'm, I'm strict with the rules now. Don't try it. <laughs> Chasing halfway through nah, the game. Nah. Nah, 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 to your benefit, nah. nah. It's not the yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> or the fact that you're playing cards and someone makes an error and then they try to pull it back. I'm like, nah. Put it back, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then penalise. I'm like, pick up two cards. Yeah. <laughs> Standard. How about you pick up seven instead, instead of the two? If you want to change rules. Yeah, I'm changing the rules on you now. you got to pick up seven, not two. Oh, oh, that's too funny. I'm trying to think of any uh, any games that I didn't like as well. Um, yeah. Oh, I think I just stayed away. Anything I didn't like, I stayed away from. Mm, I can't even think of what I didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of was hands on. Like I'll try to try it. I'll try it every game. You did mention yeah. um, noughts and crosses. Noughts and crosses. Yes. I found that was good fun. Actually, we used to do it on the floor, on the ground. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and Hangman was always—it's always a good game. Yes, yeah, Hangman. Yeah. yeah, in any format, be it yeah. writing yeah. on the floor outside yeah. or on an electronic uh, tablet or something, or yeah. even yeah. I d- I'm not sure if they have. Do they have Hangman as a game, like a uh, like a board I'm game sure. type I'm thing? Sure. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Mm. They do have, not that I've played it, played it, but I've seen, like, I think they've got, like, an app or something. Right. It, it's still, like, filling in the missing letters, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, I meant as, as a physical game, like, oh, do you know one thing we didn't mention? What's that? Scrabble. Come on. Yeah. Scrabble. Scrabble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I could play Scrabble. I yeah. love a Scrabble. Yeah. I think I've played it more online than I have when I was a child. There was too many other games to play. But didn't, but, yeah. but didn't yeah. you find I yeah I, that was more of an adult game? I agree. Um, or yeah. much when yeah. you know after teens. But didn't you find that it was really boring when you played with someone who didn't have like a lack of vocabulary, <laughs> and they were just putting like really simple words. So the word you could never ever extend on the word, or you could never. Yeah. You know, like when you play competitively, like on on a tablet or something, yeah, and you're yeah. getting someone who's just putting short words and you can't build on them. It's yeah, really well, frustrating. Yeah, that, that it's frustrating. Annoying. No, that could be very, very annoying. But also, do you remember Snakes and Ladders? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Snakes and Ladders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snakes and Ladders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 wasn't that yeah, cool? yeah, 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 there's a long ladder, yes. Right? Yeah, there's and a long ladder. Yeah, and then there's the other one, which is a bit further where it's the snake and it takes you back down to one or whatever or something like that. That used to frustrate me because I hated when I used to be on the long snake. Yeah. But yeah, there were, the ladders was one of my it's, it's, it's really funny, like, as we talk about games, there were a number of games that were really frustrating. Mm-hmm. There was there were some games were just pure laughter. There's non-stop cracking up, rolling your belly with laughter. Yeah. There were some yeah. games that were just like just had your mind so deep in thought because the concentration level was so high. It's like you just didn't want to you didn't want to lose this game for whatever reason. 
not just your competitiveness, but you were so engrossed in that game. It's just like I can't afford to lose this game. You know, you're concent- you're just concentrating. You you know you you don't want anyone making any noise because your intention is to win this game. Yeah, because yeah, you're deep concentrating. You yeah, don't want to hear no one chatting in your ear or anything like that. I want to yeah, put my game like that is backgammon. Oh yeah. gosh, yes, that gammon. Yeah. We could go yeah. on forever when it comes to games. Okay. I'm going to put something to you. We've discussed games and we've expressed how much games have been great fun for us. Even today as adults, we, we still play games and do all the things to have a bit of enjoyment. Going forward and expressing how you feel about games and how they've been good for you in your lifetime and how they've impacted you. What would you say to someone, a child or just an individual who's out there and doesn't really play games or do anything like that on the level that we have? What would you say to them? I would say don't knock it till you try it. You know, you'd be surprised at how much fun you would have playing um, simple games, the games we used to play, run outs, uh, 50-50 homie, you know, Saints and Ladders, Connect Four, we, we could go on, um, Rounders, but I just think, try it first before you decide that being on your console or being on your phone, even though you're playing a game, is better than actually interacting with others. And Miss Mode? Yeah, I, I kind of um, echo what Miss B is saying. I would just say definitely try them and you know you don't have to I know prices of things may be a bit on the pricey side but also like just doing simple games as hangman you know which is more like a paper thing so yeah you know, just just try it games very interesting subject something that every one of us at some point in our lives have been part of enjoyed, expressed, shared with other people who are close to us, who are strangers to us. Now, having played games and still play games today, in, in my honest opinion, if you want to have some fun, you want to do something to release tension or stress, playing a game would be the one. It could be on your computer it could be like the lady said play hangman it could be something that doesn't physically cost you anything but sometimes just taking that time out from everyday life just to do something simple because playing games is simple it's a matter of us enjoying what we do through fun just having fun with something that doesn't require your mind to be taxed by stresses and strains just it's downtime so if there is anyone out there who hasn't played a game or isn't into games just try one and see what you think of it and how it is for you you'll find that it will be so much fun and it may just bring out something in you that you didn't even know was there I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for listening to today's show. Good night and God bless.